Terms and conditions can be pretty important for some businesses, especially digital businesses, because they define the rules and regulations of your site. To show you an example, let's take a look at the terms and conditions for EDD. I'll add this product to my cart and check out. At the bottom of the checkout, we'll see a button that says show terms, as well as the checkbox that says agree to our license terms and refund policy. And you have to check this, otherwise you cannot check out. If we click show terms, we can take a look at what they are. We can see stuff about licensing, warranty, support, and a few other things. And this is the default functionality in EDD. So with a few button clicks, we can turn this on for our own site. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go back to our site. We'll go to Downloads, Settings, Miscellaneous, and now Terms of Agreement. First things first, we want to turn this on. So we'll click that. And then let's just take a look at the EDD checkout to see what they say. They say, agree to our license terms and refund policy. We can type whatever we want in right here. I'll just say, agree to our terms and conditions. But you can make this whatever you want. And then we can type in whatever we want in our actual terms and conditions. I'm not a lawyer, so I can't give you an exhaustive list. But looking at the EDD website is a good place to start. If you're not selling software, I'd still start here and then remove the parts that don't apply to you. A warranty section is a good idea. A section about how you're going to support your customers is a good idea. Updates is useful for software. Licenses are useful for just about any digital product. Plugin delivery is useful for WordPress plugins. And there's a few other things here. We have a few courses in the library about contracts, and they're specific to a particular industry. So a contract for a photographer will be very different than a contract for selling software. So see if there's an applicable course in the library that applies to your industry. And if you can't find something specific to your industry, then I recommend you seek professional advice from a legal expert.